We're making a wire wrapped lighter case today. Just with our 16 gauge wire kind of wraps around and forms quite a solid little case around just the standard Bic lighter. You can slide it on and off and swap it onto a different lighter when your lighter runs out. It's quite a strong little case, which is good, and hopefully it lets everyone know that that's your lighter. We've actually got another tutorial for a different wire wrapped lighter case as well. It's a little bit more complex, but you'll see that one on the right hand side. For today, this one here, we're just going to start with 40 inches of 16 gauge wire. So I just measure that out. That's for the main part, and then for the little connection parts to hold it all together, we use this 24 gauge wire. With this design here, I've used about 18 of these little lengths. So I sort of cut out 20, and that will give me enough depending on how I've twisted my wire. They don't have to be perfectly exact, but they do need to be long enough to wrap around a couple of pieces of wire. Just starting with our 16 gauge wire here, we're just going to make a little loop on the end, which is going to wrap around and that's going to be the part that connects. So I just start by making a little twist or a spiral in the end of our wire. And then I'm going to wrap it around the top. So you really do need a lighter here that you can size it off and sort of using it as a mold. I like to put it on the side, you can put it wherever you like around the top and we just start by wrapping that wire around. Then when it meets up with the beginning part of the wire we're just going to bring it round in a loop as well. Just around the side and sort of bend it around the edge of the lighter if you need, bend it around the corner there. And you're working so a lot of your pieces of wire kind of sit next to each other so that you're then going to be able to put connections on there as well to hold it secure with the smaller wire. For this design here I actually start by wrapping the whole lighter and then afterwards we put the connections on it. So I just, with the 16 gauge wire, we are just going to go around and wrap around this whole lighter in a way that sort of covers it loosely. And so you're just working with your wire and bending it around the corners, gently just making loops around. There's no set design for this case. I'm just bending the wires around and it's making those connections between the wire when it touches. It really is more of a sort of abstract and random design. You're just gonna move your wires to where you can see that it needs it. We're just working our way down the lighter, so sort of starting at the top and working around, just forming the wire to work towards the bottom of the lighter. We're just putting little twists and looping them all around. If you can see there's a spot that needs it, you can just bring your wire down there and make a little loop. You can do whatever shapes you like with your wire, and it does cross over itself, so it's not going to be completely flat, this wrap. Just keep working with your wire until you've worked it all the way down to the bottom. You can see we're getting quite close to the bottom now and we just keep working around this wire. Some loops you'll do to the left and some you'll do to the right. Over itself, bringing the wire around. You need to do the same thing on the bottom as well. So the bottom does need at least a wire or two going under it, just so that it's gonna hold your lighter in place. It's not gonna fall out the bottom. So I just kind of bring the wire across the bottom and sort of make a little bit of a twist too. I can cut a little bit of this tail off. You never really know how much wire you're gonna actually use. And sometimes as you put the connections on, it gets tighter together. So you'll need a little bit of extra on the bottom here. Make sure you don't cut this too short. 
now that you've got that part of the design done we're going to work on just checking that all your wires are even and that you've sort of filled in any big holes on your lighter that you're happy with the design you can sort of work with your wires a little bit now just to bring them into the positions that you want them This part here is our first little connection part and so I like to start again at the top and work my way down the lighter again. Just making sure that the connection is all sitting nicely how you like it on the lighter. Then we can just take the lighter out and we're going to start adding our little connections on there. So with one of these little pieces of the 24 gauge wire that you've got, we're just going to wrap it around those two pieces of wire that are touching there and form a nice tight connection. I usually wrap my connections around three times. Then I try and get them all the exact same all over the whole design. It's a little bit fiddly because you've got to get underneath and sort of bring the wire around. Just wrapping it around both the wires to secure them in place. sort of cut that little piece of tail off and hopefully you can work it so that the ends of the wire are on the inside of the little case that you're making. You can see there's a nice little tight tidy connection there and then you should be able to slide the case over your lighter just to check the sizing and it should be kind of held in place. You're just slowly going to work around your lighter now and on all the spots that have two wires close together you're going to put another wire on there to connect it. You don't want your case to be super super tight onto the lighter either because then it's going to just be too tight once you've wrapped this extra piece of wire around. So it's actually good if it's just a little bit loose than being really really super tight. So we just work around the whole case, again just wrapping around this small piece of wire. I do all of mine three times so I'm just wrapping that around and making sure the tails end up on the middle on the inside and then crimping them down nice and tight, making sure they're together. Obviously the more connections you put onto it the more secure it's going to be but we are going to glue them at the end as well just to make sure that they are all nice and secure. Some loops won't need a connection on them at all and the wire is quite firm so it does sort of hold but you do want the basic sort of cage part of it to be held and secure. As you keep working on your case you want to just pop your lighter in every now and then as well just to make sure that your design is looking how you want it to look and that it's fitting okay as well. So you want your wires to be bent around the edges nicely and sort of sitting along against the lighter as well and sort of forming in the nice shape of the case that it needs to be. Don't stress too much if they do get loose while you're kind of working with the case because it is a bit fiddly, you've got to get your tools inside sometimes. So at the end if there are any that have come loose you can just replace those.
as you work down you can sort of see where you need your connections and where you need to kind of move the wire into place just to have it held nice and secure you can see these ones here are going to be the next lot so I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing the same thing so just working with all of these wires down further Now we get towards the bottom part of the case. So just working with your wire so that it comes across the bottom and makes a loop around to connect with other parts of the wire just so that it's held in place. Making sure it works around your lighter well and then you can just pop your extra connections on as well. I normally just sort of do a little curly loop on the end of my wire on this end as well and that sort of just helps that end to look finished as well. It does take quite a bit of time putting these connections on but I really think it's worth it in the end. Obviously I've sped up this sort of boring stuff for you guys a little bit but it did take me about 45 minutes to make this case. So just checking your bottom part as well so you can move it into place with your jewelry tools and just pushing it down onto the table as well just to bend it over that bottom part putting your little connection on there to hold it in place all right 
right, so it's getting pretty close to finish now. You want to just work with all your wires, making sure that they're all held up nice and tight. So it should be all secure on both sides. You can sort of bend the wires around the edge a little bit. Now is a good time to just check over all your connections as well. You want to make sure that they're all nice and tight, all sitting nicely like three layers next to each other and that all the tails are poking towards the inside. If any are loose, you can take them off now. It's not an issue just to swap them over. Once you're happy with them all, I just grab some jewelry glue. So I've got the hypo cement here and I just poke a little dab onto each connection there. And that's just going to help them stay in place. As soon as your glue is dry, you can start using your new case.